everybody, it's Barbara, and welcome to Pick a Stack Wednesday, best day of the week. We're starting off with some Golden Singing Bell. This raises the frequency of the crystals, the cards, me and you, and the whole world. If you're new to Pick a Stack, this is what we do here. You think of an idea, an issue, or a question. It can pertain to yourself, your loved ones, your family, the community, or the whole world. And then you choose a stack. This is stack one, stack two, and stack three. Each stack consists of two tarot cards from two different decks, one oracle card, and a crystal. Each stack tells a story and hopefully resonates with your idea, issue, or question. And each stack is hidden underneath a box to encourage you to use your intuition. Use your intuition. Don't go off the background. Oh, I want the stack by that crystal. No, you just use your intuition. In the background today, we've got some really good angelic energy. We've got celestite and a crystal wood knot. This is made by our friend Mike. It is available for sale. Um, and we've got all these towers that are quartz um, treated with titanium. They're aura quartz. And then we've got a rose quartz flame. These are all available for sale in my store. I'm not saying that to try to push it. I'm just letting you know they're not from my personal collection today. All right. Let's get started. We're going to jump right in. If you chose stack number one, your stone is snow quartz or milky quartz. So this is a white quartz. It's not clear. It's snowy. Um, I'm in Minnesota. There's a lot of this type of quartz in Minnesota. Not this pretty, of course, because this has been tumbled. Um, but snow quartz because it comes from the quartz family is um it's very powerful because it can store energy it can amplify it focus it transmit it transform it balance it and absorb it it is the the whole quartz family resonates with me i love all the crystals in the quartz family um they make me feel happy snow quartz stimulates a love for the truth and fosters clarity of the mind it enhances our personal levels of tact and cooperation and can help us to think before we speak. We should send one of these to everybody in, um, well, in large corporations and our government. It can help us to feel more pure and is sometimes used in purification ceremonies. So if you're doing any kind of a cleansing or a cord cutting, um, this is a really good stone to have with you. It is a bringer of good fortune, peace, wisdom, and brings us closer to our higher power and to help us become more spiritually minded. I mean, just looking at it, it's, it has this, this calming feel to it and um, like soothing. Um, and yeah, that, that word purity keeps coming to my mind. So I'm feeling like, you know, if you have a new baby... Put one of these underneath the crib mattress or, or somewhere where they can't have access to it, but somewhere near them um, because this has such a pure energy to it. Untainted. All right. Your first card is from the Heaven and Earth Tarot. And we're going to start off with the Princess of Pentacles. The Princess of Pentacles. This is like the Page of Pentacles. Pentacles is the earth energy. It's coins. It's material things. And the princess has a really big pentacle or coin there. Um, you know, if you're a princess, you pretty much have what you need. You know, we don't hear about too many poor princesses. Usually it's the spoiled rich princesses that we hear about. Uh, my dog is a spoiled princess. She has way more than she could possibly need in this life. Of course, she would argue with me, but, you know, that's her opinion. Um, so this is the princess that has everything she needs. She's got the material wealth. She's got the things. Okay, we're going to add to that. We're going to add to that more pentacles. So this is the king of crystals, and this is from the spirit song deck, but in this deck, crystals is pentacles or earth energy or coins. So we've got the king and the princess. Um, this is actually like father-daughter energy as well. 
Um, or it could be, you know, if you're a single woman and you're looking for a man, there's going to be a man coming around the corner, but he's going to be a little bit older. Um, and maybe a Leo or a, a, I don't know why I said Leo. That's not an earth sign. Okay, so maybe there's going to be a Leo out there for somebody. Um, this is a tiger. It's not even a lion. I always pay attention to when I say something that I don't necessarily, I wasn't planning on saying because that's somebody else talking through me, um, which happens all the time. So we've got, like, <laughs> this is royalty. This is the princess becoming the king. Um, and, it, you know, gender doesn't matter here. Um, it's, it's rising up to the next level. It's having somebody come into your life that's at that level. If you're single and you're looking for somebody. Um, lots of pentacles here. Lots of coins, lots of earth energy. Now, maybe you are, um, <laughs> one person comes to my mind. Maybe you're really into plants and growing things and earthy things. This is, this is all about that. Um, it can be growing things from the earth. If you're a gardener, if you're a farmer, um, this is, this is that material stuff, but it's earthy. It's coming up from the earth. We need to do healings on the earth. Um, we need to eat more foods from the earth instead of from the laboratory. You know, all that processed food is so bad for us. Um, but basically these cards are saying we've got everything we need. Stop wanting. When you want something, you are telling the universe I'm lacking. Does that make sense? I'm lacking this and there's a hole in my life and I need to fill it. Well, what the universe hears is, oh, you want lack. Okay, we'll give you more lack. When you say, I already have more money than I know what to do with. I already have that new house that I want. I already have, actually, I already have the, the new house that's the perfect house for me. I already have that perfect job for me. I already have that, et cetera, et cetera. The universe goes, oh, okay, yeah, you already have it. All right, we'll give it to you. And I always say, I already have that new thing. I just haven't gotten to that point in time yet. So this is very, very fortuitous. And that's not my word. That's my guide's word. Um, we already have what it is we need. We just haven't gotten to that time yet. But this is material things. Like I said, it's that house. It's that vehicle. It's that um, the stuff that you feel like you need to have and maybe you do need to have it to fulfill a mission when i pray i always say thank you for bringing me all the resources i need to fulfill my missions resources can be people it can be money it could be stuff so this is saying you've already got it but you're leveling up or somebody's coming into your life that's going to bring it either way it's already yours we're going to add to that a card from the Guardian Angel reading deck. And this is the Angel of Soulmates. This is card number 30, which reduces to a three. Very powerful, sacred number. So we've got, I just have to point this out. We've got the princess and the king here. And here's your affirmation. It's basically a princess and a king with an angel looking over. So this is divine. Um... And it's interesting because I was just talking about all the earthy stuff. And here we've got, they're standing on the earth, surrounded by rocks, very earthy. Um, we've got water rushing in, which is all about emotions. Um, and you can tell they're tumultuous. It's not very calm. The water's just whoosh, up on the rocks, right? You like that word? I don't know how to spell that, so it's a good thing I'm not writing it. Um, so the water's crashing on the shore. And, and that's that crashing on the shores is, is very passionate, which is what is going on here. They're being very passionate. So this is, this is two people coming together, um, the princess and the king coming together. But it's divine because you're being overseen by this guardian angel. So whatever you were asking about, <laughs> you're getting it. Um, this is beautiful. This is love coming together. This is all the resources you need to fulfill your missions. This is whatever. You better start praying because it's there waiting for you 
You just have to ask for it. And that is one of the keys that my guides really want to stress. I mean, they just did it like in big neon letters. You have to ask them for help. You have to ask them for help getting that new home, that new love in your life, that new whatever. You ask them. Um, I have so many, like hundreds and hundreds of, of examples that I can throw at you where I said, okay, universe, you know, okay, God, creator, source, great spirit, my spirit guides who live in the light, thank you. I need help with some, you know, this thing. Um, and literally in the next couple days, boom, somebody comes up to me and says, hey, did you know that I blah, blah, blah? And it's like, wow, I did not know that. And you were heaven sent. Because why are we even having this conversation today instead of three years ago? So we have free will. They do not. They need to wait until we ask for help. So ask. And this is how I ask. Thank you for bringing me, etc. I don't say, oh, please, please, please. And I don't beg. I say, thank you for bringing me the perfect job for me, the perfect home for me, the perfect building for me, the perfect vehicle for me, the perfect whatever for me. I talk to my son and I say, thank you for bringing me the perfect vehicle for me because you know what vehicle I need and I have no idea. And then he brings me the perfect vehicle. So we've done that three times out of three. It works great. All right, my guides say stack one is done and we need to do some singing bell. All right, <clears throat> let's do stack number two. We're on fire today and it's not because I'm sweating bullets here because my house is still at 80 degrees. This little guy literally jumped out of the bowl this is sardonyx, and isn't it beautiful? It looks like a piece of candy. Just beautiful colors. Sardonyx usually has those, um, those earthy colors. So this is a stone of strength and protection. You can use it to enhance willpower, integrity, stamina, and vigor. It is believed to bring lasting happiness and stability to marriage and relationships. It attracts friends and good fortune. Some people use sardonyx in a protection grid, placing it at the corners of their home or property, or at doors and windows to prevent crime or misfortune. You can also use it to give children courage, particularly if they do not fit in well. Well, that's pretty much almost every kid right now. Physically, it can be used to help back pain, bladder and bowel problems, menstrual cramps, and to generally cleanse the body of blockages. It is also the stone of law enforcement and good for legal matters. So many things. It's good for so many things. And it's beautiful. So you can pop one of these in your pocket or your bra or wherever um, and carry it with you. It's just so beautiful. And protective. All right. <clears throat> your first card. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's from the Heaven and Earth it, oh, Heaven and Earth Tarot. You think I can say Heaven and Earth, right? Um, interestingly, Stack One was all about coins and and pentacles and Earth. And guess what we get? We get the Six of Pentacles. Here's more pentacles coming. <clears throat> I sense a theme today. So <clears throat> this is. More pentacles. Basically, you know, you've got this woman here. She's a, she's holding a scale, so this could be a Libra card as well. Um, and there's two people down here, and she's, I don't know if you can see this, but she's tossing this man some coins into his hand. So it's almost like she's weighing it out, like, it's almost like a judgment card. At least that's what I feel like. She's she's judging how much money she should give to this man based on his maybe integrity. So in other words, if we are a good person, if we're doing good deeds in this realm, the universe will bestow upon us something good in return, like good rewards. The thing is, we don't want to have a big ego about that. You know, push your ego into the back. It, it's okay once in a while, but you know, 
don't take these coins and go out and buy a brand new Corvette is what I'm saying. Um, but when you are being a good person, you are rewarded. As long as you know that you're worthy. And this is what my guides are, are pushing me to say right now is we have to get into receive mode. I feel like this is us down here. We're this guy that's receiving. We're not her with all the coins. We're down here. And we have to know that we are worthy of receiving the, our reward. I'm a good person. I should be rewarded. Too many people out there. I hear this all the time. You know, I do good deeds and then nothing ever good comes of it. Nothing, you know, I can't pay my own bills and I can't do this and da 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 da. And then they stand there and complain for an hour. Well, it's because you're not in receive mode. The universe has probably tried to give you rewards and you said, no, that's not for me. No, I'm not worthy. So the universe goes, okay, fine. I'll give it to this person over here. If you don't believe that you are worthy of good things, of being rewarded for your integrity, then you won't be rewarded for your integrity. So know that the divine wants to give you something, but you got to know that you're worthy of it. And get in receive mode. We're going to add to that a card from the Spirit Song Tarot. And we get more. Okay, we've got the Six of Pentacles, Coins, Earth. Now we've got the Nine of Pentacles, Coins, Earth. In this deck, it's called Crystals. It's the same thing. We have Six Pentacles and we have Nine Pentacles. Now we have 15 Pentacles, 15 Coins. 15, that's huge. The universe wants to bestow all this upon you. And are you ready to receive? Are you in receive mode? Do you know that you are worthy of all these good things? If you're living a life of integrity, you, you do what you can to help others. The universe wants to reward you because that's why we're here. We are not here to just be selfish and um, use our money just for ourselves. Or use our time just for ourselves. No, we are here to work together. We are all one. We're a big team. And we're supposed to be living a life of integrity and helping each other. And sometimes helping each other means giving somebody that's a stranger a hug in a grocery store. That's all. But you don't know what that means to that other person. I make people cry all the time. I have hugged strangers in grocery stores. Yes, even in the last two years. And I've made people cry. But I know when somebody needs a hug. And sometimes that's all it takes. But we got to help each other. And then the universe will reward us. So if you're wondering why you've been asking and asking or doing spells or, or praying or whatever. And you're not getting what it is that you think you need. It's because the universe has probably been trying to give it to you. And you're going, no, 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 that's not for me. No, that can't be for me. Yeah. It is for you. Here it is. Right there. 15 pentacles. 15. Not just six. Not just nine. 15. We're going to add to that a card from the Guardian Angel deck. <clears throat> now, this is interesting because this is card number 14, which is a five. And it's the angel of grounding. Now, these two cards are the six of earth and the nine of earth. And now we have the angel of grounding showing a person sitting on the earth. I don't know what else to say. I mean, do you get it now? Hello? This is such a strong message. This woman is sitting here and this angel is here and... I just have to point out that the angel is flooding, fluttering her wings and there's little white feathers falling all over the place. The little white feathers are those divine messages, those divine things that are being given to you. Messages, money, um, stuff. They're coming from the divine. All you got to do is ask. And that's what she's doing. She's sitting on these rocks and she's just saying, you know what? I could really use some feathers. Help me out here. Thank you. And then she's grateful. So you've got 
so much right here. All this is for you. It's all for you. You got to ask and you got to be in receive mode and know that you're worthy of receiving all that. And you know what? One of the things that I do when I'm praying and I'm requesting something, I say thank you for bringing me all these resources that I need to fulfill my missions and thank you for helping me share my wonderful bounty. Because I could be a millionaire, but I don't want it all for myself. I want to help other people. So thank you for helping me receive so I may share. Thank you for helping me receive so I may share. It means I get to take care of myself, but I get to take care of other people as well. And with stack number two, that's what's coming. You just have to believe and have faith and know that you are worthy of all those good things. <clears throat> all right, since we did the singing bell between one and two, we're gonna do the singing bell between two and three. Okay, that was stack number two. Now let's dive into stack number three. I'm going to laugh if there's any uh, pentacles or crystals or any other earth energy. <clears throat> Your stone in stack number three is amethyst. And this is the one that wanted to be shown today. I went to grab a, a tumble and, and my guides went, nope, nope, nope. You got to grab one of these beauties. It's just a small one, but still, it's so pretty. Um, fairies love these. And I have actually taken small ones like this. I mean, it's it's small. Um, I've taken small ones like this and put it outside in areas where I know fairies are. And um, you can just hear them basically cheering and singing. It's so cool. So if you have a fairy garden, put a little one of these in there and um, tell the fairies it's for them. It is, it is so beautiful. They, they just love it. <clears throat> So amethyst is considered one of the master healers. Again, I said this in stack one. Um, I am very much into the quartz family. And this is from the quartz family. I resonate with quartz. It is extremely powerful and protective with a high spiritual vibration. It's one of the most spiritual stones promoting love of the divine, selflessness, and spiritual wisdom. It can help you activate your third eye and your crown chakra and your soul star chakra. Um, it increases a sense of responsibility and self-worth. If you sleep with it, it can help facilitate out-of-body experiences and intuitive dreams. I don't need help with that. So, um, <laughs> Just saying, I never stay in my body. Amethyst aids with headaches, insomnia, alcohol recovery, and that's also drug recovery, um, blood, pain, stress, tension, bruising, injuries, skin, respiratory, and intestinal issues. It is so good if you have had surgery. Um, I've had many people come in and say, what can I, what can I do? I'm having surgery. Um, what can help me heal faster? And I say, you just take yourself some amethyst. And put it wherever you had your surgery. If you have a boot on, you know, like an air boot or something, um, put it, if you're just sitting around, put it in that in that little crevice so it doesn't fall out. And then when you get up, you're going to have to take it out. Um, if you've had surgery on, you know, the core of your body, just if you're laying down or sitting down, put it near that. Um, put it on your head, wherever it feels right, put it there and it's going to help you heal so much faster. And I've had so many people come back to me later and say, my doctor doesn't understand why I'm healing so fast. And I always just tell people, just say you're praying. Because you literally are. You're praying and asking for the amethyst to help you. <clears throat> All right, your first card is from the Heaven and Earth deck. Ha, okay. So there's no pentacles in this one, but it is the card of temperance. This is a major arcana 
This is card number 14. It's funny because the angel card in um, stack two was a 14. So this is 14. This is temperance. This can have two meanings for you. Um, temperance is all about moderation. So the first question is, are you doing something that you need to maybe back off of? And what I mean by that is if you get obsessive compulsive about something, like I have to keep my house clean at all times, this is the universe's way of telling you to back off. If you're on, uh, working on your spiritual journey and you have to do so much every day, <laughs> spirit's going, you know what? You can back off. Don't be so hard on yourself. Don't push yourself so much. I mean, yes, we can push ourselves, but don't do it to the point where it's not healthy. Okay. So this is moderation, but also this is all about blending. So I just, I'm going to pull the card up closer. She's got this cup in this hand and a cup in this hand, and she's blending the two liquids together to become something new in the middle. Now this can be about a relationship. It could be about work. It could be about a hobby. It could be anything. But this is all about taking two things, blending them together, and making something new out of it. So if that's the interpretation for you, the blending, um, maybe you're going to take a hobby and your job and blend them together into something new. You're going to be more creative at work or, or something. Or maybe this is all about you and another person blending together to make something new. You know, you could be meeting somebody. But this is all about blending. So let's see what the Spirit Song Tarot <clears throat> adds. And I'm just going to have some water real quick. <clears throat> That's funny because before I stopped, I was going to make a comment about the star behind her head. And guess what card comes out? The star. So from the Spirit Song Tarot, we have the star card with temperance. These are both major arcanas. Now, we didn't have major arcanas in, in stack one or stack two. But we had lots of, of um, pentacles and coins. But here we have two major arcanas from two different decks. We've got moderation or blending, and we've got the star. And what my guides are saying with the star card is follow your star. Follow your star. Follow your dreams. Follow that, that, that dream that's out there, right there in the background. There's stars. Follow that. And then, <laughs> so, you know, I'm working on a big project myself. And I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday, and, and I said, you know, I put myself in this new project. Like, I'm already doing it. I see myself doing it. I smell it. I taste it. I, I see it. I hear it. I feel it. That way I know it's going to happen. It's just I haven't gotten to that point in time yet. So this is all about following your star and doing what you would do if you were already there. Hopefully that makes sense to you. But also, moderation. So, you know, this big project that I'm working on, I also have to have moderation. Um, I'm one of those people, I could allow it to just, you know, take over and I could be really obsessive about it. But you know what? I'm like, okay, yeah, today I'm not even going to think about it. I'm just not. I'm going to think about what I'm, I need to be present in the moment. But I'm not going to make a list of the things I need to do for that project. I'm not going to look at a list. I'm not going to buy something for that. I'm not going to, I'm just going to let it go because I don't want to be obsessive compulsive about it. Um, we need to like push off and then go with the flow. So we've got the moderation and we've got the star. Follow your star. We're going to add to that a card from the Guardian Angel deck. And we get the Angel of Positivity, card number 25, which is a seven. Angel of Positivity. This looks like the Ten of Cups, totally. But what this is saying is, you know, here's you on the right, and here's your angel. And your angel's got you. Your angel's taking you through the tunnel. 
you can already see the light at the end of the tunnel. You're not on the other side yet, but you're almost there. And that's how I feel like um, where we are right now. We are in, we're actually not in a tunnel, we're in the birth canal. Uh, we're birthing a new earth. But some of us can see this new earth out here. I know I can see it out there. Right now, we're in this. You know, it's kind of dark and murky a little bit, and there's crabby people, and stuff is breaking down. But, gosh, as soon as we get out of this birth canal, there's going to be rainbows and unicorns and, and beautiful dragons and fairies and and happy people. Crabby people won't be allowed. So you better tell your friends to drop that crabbiness because crabby people aren't allowed over here. Just happy people. And it's divine. It's divine because the angels who work with the light, the our spirit guides who live in the light, um, the ascended masters who live in the light, galactic guardians who work with the light, they're all helping us get to this other side of the birth canal. Just like in stack number two, I'm going to say this now. We have to know that we're worthy of this. I know I'm worthy of being in this happy place. I've already been here in the dark, murky place. I know I'm worthy of being in there. I'm living a life of integrity. I help other people. I know that I can be there. Um, I know my guides are taking me there. It's just, it's so beautiful. So that's what you need to know is that you need to follow your star. You need to use moderation or, and, or, um, you need to do something where there's a blending. And then you get this, this beautiful world on the other side of the birth canal. It's beautiful. It's our reward, and we have to know that we're worthy. That's kind of our theme today. We have to know that are worthy. we are worthy and um, that we can receive all this. I know I want to receive all this. Woo, woo. Yeah, baby, let's do it. All right, that was stack number three. Cards are just more and more powerful every week. Lots of pentacles coming people's way. Just be a good person, help others. That's, that's all that's required. It's easy, graceful, blissful. And I send you all blessings of love, light, peace, joy, happiness, success, divine health, and all good things because I know you're worthy. I know you're worthy of all good things. You just got to know it. Have a blessed day, my beautiful soul family. Namaste.